Elizabeth. The next student is one of my students, uh, Rebecca Clark. She'll be uh, talking about lithium and its effects on bipolar disorder. Chemistry student. Thanking Professor Durante as well as Professor Massey for putting on um, this whole symposium today. Um, today I'm going to be talking about lithium and its effects on bipolar disorder. Um, so for um, my overview of what I'm going to be talking about is what is bipolar disorder, um, the neurology of so what actually causes bipolar disorder within the brain, um, what does lithium do to fix this. Um, can you overdose on lithium, as well as what happens after long-term lithi lithium exposure? Um, what does lithium do for the non-bipolar? And then my concluding thoughts. So um, what is bipolar disorder? Um, bipolar disorder is a brain disorder that causes unusual shifts in mood, energy, activity levels, and Im impacts the ability to carry out day-to-day -day tasks. Um, there are actually four different types of bipolar disorder, which not a lot of people know. Um, there's bipolar 1 disorder, bipolar 2 disorder, um, cyclothymic disorder, and um, substance and medication induced bi uh, bipolar and related disorder. So um, any of the following um, that are caused by medication and not by natural causes. Um, bipolar is often used as an overgeneralization for um, people who are moody or have mood swings or, you know, um, are very indecisive, which that is incorrect um, and cannot be more incorrect than it's very misleading. Um, bipolar disorder is actually um, something that impacts the brain's functioning to the point where the person um, has no control over their actions. They can, um, if they're in a depressive mood, they could actually take their own life um, without even, you know, having the conscious thought of saying, hey, like, you know, I'm really sad right now, but things will get better. They don't have that. They will end up um, doing things. So it can actually be very dangerous, and if they get very angry, they might take someone else's life, which could be dangerous for the people around them. Um, so bipolar disorder, though it is overused, should not be. It's uh, very misleading. Um, so what actually causes bipolar disorder um, is actually within the brain. Um, there is a neurotransmitter called GABA, which is a gamma amino um, butyric acid, which, um, which is in the brain if there's insufficient amounts of it. GABA is the neurotransmitter that actually controls mood. So it's what makes you say, you know, I'm sad, but I'm not going to start crying randomly in front of the, in front of everyone, or, you know, it controls, it's, it's, um, keeps everything at bay. Um, so within this, um, if you look at the neurotransmitter, or the, sorry, the neuron and the neurotransmitters in it, they are, um, they, how the neurons communicate with each other is through the presynaptic neuron, which is the foot-looking thing at the top, um, actually communicates with the bottom, which is another neuron, which is the presynaptic neuron, um, and it, can, it passes neurotransmitters through the synaptic cleft, which is the area in between. Um, and when uh, people in bipolar disorder, they don't really, the passing of the neurotransmitter from the presynaptic to the postsynaptic is um, flawed or non-existent, and so that's what actually causes bipolar disorder. Now, what um, transforms it is actually sodium, um, and if you look at the periodic table, sodium and lithium are in the same group, um, so that they are they have very similar characteristics because of their um, outer electron shell and how they react with each other. But lithium, being a smaller atom, it's um, actually made up of three protons, three neutrons, and its nucleus. So its nucleus is actually its atomic mass is a lot smaller than sodium. So it's a lot more. Um, dynamic or, you know, it can pass around a lot easier. So it actually does um, sodium's job better. So it's able to pass things from the presynaptic neuron to the postsynaptic neuron a lot easier than um, sodium is. Um, okay, and then the uh, question commonly asked is, can you overdose on lithium? And the answer is yes. Um, there's a very, uh, not so much small, but there's a very specific gap of when you don't have enough um, 
lithium versus when you have too much. So if someone, um, just like as any other medication, if you don't take enough of it, like painkillers or stuff like that, like if you don't take enough of it, you don't feel the effects, but if you take too much, they can have very adverse side effects. Um, same thing with lithium. Um, however, when you, if someone were to overdose on lithium, um, it causes tremors, delirium, um, and so it can actually make the bipolar actions worse. Um, so it's very important that when you're first starting out lithium to find out the right amount, um, that you're under constant supervision, which is why um, it's often um, that people with bipolar disorder are actually hospitalized or you know, under constant supervision until they get the lithium amount um, under control. Um, there was actually a story that I read about a lady who, um, she was an older lady and she was outside of her hospital because her doctor had increased her dose the night before from 600 milligrams to 800 milligrams. And she, um, so those 200 milligrams caused her to actually run around town, she was running around the street uh, naked and with a knife um, saying that she was gonna cut off her arm for some peculiar reason. And that was due to the 200 milligrams that was added of lithium. Um, so she was in a state of delirium, and it's, um, it's not very, it's a very serious thing. Um, when implemented correctly, however, lithium has very, very, very good, um, it's a very good treatment for bipolar disorder. Um, so uh, long-term lithium exposure, um, teratogenic, um, it's not teratogenic, nor does it cause cancer, so it's not carcinogenic either. Um, and then also, um, does it cause kidney failure? Um, it's not been proven to cause kidney failure. However, if someone does have a pre-existing condition of very weak kidneys, what happens to all the sodium that is, was in the brain that has been replaced with lithium is it needed to be excreted somehow. And so the way that the human body excretes it is through the kidneys. So if someone has a, a weak kidney, um, they can actually, if it's bombarded with all the sodium, the excess sodium that needs to be um, uh, excreted from the body, it can actually cause kidney failure if they have an already weak kidney. But if someone who does not have the pre-existing condition of a weak kidney, um, they should be fine for to um, be taking lithium. Um, okay, and then um, what does lithium do for the people who don't have bipolar? So um, it's actually, um, it's quite interesting. There was a study over in Texas um, on the 27th counties in Texas found that there was um, the rates of homicide, suicide, theft, robbery, burglary, um, all sorts of things were very low in high lithium uh, counties. So they actually, um, they related that to lithium and that the mood stabilization um, factors that lithium has were actually beneficial for everyone, not just people with bipolar disorder. Um, and so, so today um, I talked about what bipolar disorder is, um, how it is actually dangerous and overgeneralized, um, lithium can, how lithium can help prevent the episodes of bipolar disorder, um, how to just take the prescribed amount and not do any more or any less, and it doesn't um, cause cancer nor does it cause kidney failure, and then it helps with mental stability and reduction of crime, crime rates. Um, does anyone have any questions for me? Um, that's a very good question. She asked if it was um, something that everyone should be taking. Um, the amounts of lithium that, is re that actually helps it, it's not something that we can just say give everyone a pill. It's very, very trace amounts of lithium that um, can actually be beneficial. So it'd be something more that the government would do if they wanted to like, help do that. They could release it into the w drinking water, but um, it's not as overly, it wouldn't be as beneficial to create a pill or anything like that that we could hand out to every person on this planet. It's just um, that. And then also with the um, mass amounts of people who do have weak kidneys or, you know, that the factors of kidney failure would also be an issue. Yeah. Lithium? Yeah, uh, she asked if how, um, how expensive lithium is. Um, lithium is actually a naturally occurring element. Um, as we heard about earlier, it actually was created in the Big Bang. So it's um, something that can be 
extracted from the earth or you know it's just naturally in like here in Arizona we do have um, a lot of salts in our water and a lot of elements which one of those is lithium so here in Arizona we do have a lot of lithium just already in our drinking water um, it's not really something that can be you know it's just it's it's prescribed by a doctor they put it in pill form but it's just it's a naturally occurring substance yeah that's your Um, it is a psychological disorder. Um, it's a mood disorder, actually. Um, the way that someone is diagnosed with bipolar disorder can actually be a bunch of different ways. It depends on the severity of bipolar disorder. So if someone has a, um, if, as I said, like with that person who was running around naked with a knife, um, they would have been under supervision by a, um, by a doctor or someone and they would have been diagnosed by that way. Um, most commonly, for the common person who has bipolar disorder, but it is not as com or not as life threatening as that person who's running around with the knife. Um, they will um, family members will um, co often go to the um, psychiatrist or psychologist or even the um, general doctor, um, saying, "Hey, this person, you know, randomly they'll switch off and just say." you know, say things. Um, the person with bipolar disorder does not necessarily, they have to be told that they have it because of the um, characteristics of bipolar disorder. Um, so they don't necessarily, they're in, with bipolar disorder, the mania or the depression, they can, um, they don't really realize it. So a lot of the time it's undiagnosed because of the person doesn't actually realize that they have it and it has to be some other source um, letting them know that they have it. Any other questions? Yeah. Um, okay, so she asked if uh, the um, in Texas how they um, how they got the lithium into their drinking water, and that is just because of the natural uh, springs that they have, and it was just all naturally occurring. Um, this just how it happened of where like the minerals that were in the water already, and um, basically. Yes, the study was done in Texas, so that's the, that, yeah, that's all that I know. I don't know as compared to Arizona how much they have versus, you know, but um, yeah, the study was took place in Texas. Um, the man in the back, and then I'll, yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, um, the, um, there the four different types of bipolar disorder. Um, there are very distinct, um, the drug induced is just basically saying like, um, so some drugs can actually impact the, how the mental functions of it um, and they can show symptoms of bipolar disorder. So for the medical, um, the medical induced one, it's a more like a side effect than that. So lithium can help with that depending on what the actual effect of the, the side effect of the medicine was. If it was just something that caused the person to have random mood swings and they just happen to be classified as the related part of the bipolar disorder, or if um, if they you know actually do start to not have that transmission of GABA from their neurotransmitter, then yes, it could help. Um, for the bipolar one disorder, bipolar two disorder, and um, clithymic. Cly oh my gosh, I can't say that word. Clythymic disorder. Um, they have um, all very similar characteristics. It's just like the time periods in between um, the manic episodes um, and how severe, severe it is and everything like that, um, which is what helps diagnose that. Um, lithium does help with all three of those because it is just still the mood stabilization. It's more for diagnosis and um, treatment of you know, for the person and the psychiatrist to know the specifics of their disorder, which is what that is. And then I had one more question, and I think I have to end it. So what was your question? Yes, it does. Um, so she asked if the, the people who have lithium um, in their water, does it reduce the crime rates? Yes, it does. Um, the um, lithium does actually reduce the crime rates. All right. Well, thank you, everyone, for your questions.